Good morning. Welcome to this class on uh, Mathematics for Managers. As you know, mathematics uh, will be part of your uh, curriculum. Uh, in this class, we will not, however, enter into technical details of mathematical equations, but we will enter into an important aspect of mathematics, that is, how it is used by managers in, the, in their everyday decisions. Therefore, the manager, he followed this path that you see on the slide for deciding. He had a problem, he followed his intuition, and he came to a decision. Actually, he could be right. However, in many complex situations, this cannot be the path that you follow. You need to follow another path in which you first develop a model. A model is an abstraction of reality. Then you implement the model, you perform the analysis, you take some data, put them into the model, you get some output out. This output is the decision criterion. The results of the evaluation through the model will help you in making a decision which is now informed by a quantitative model results. This quote comes from the past CEO of FedEx. And uh, as you can read, the CEO praises the use of uh, quantitative models to support decision making. And he says that if you use a model, then you can make some mistakes just on paper. Because you can understand what alternatives maybe are completely wrong just by analyzing the problem through a model, instead of trying and experimenting these alternatives directly in reality and then having actual losses. So it's better, it's better to have virtual losses than actual losses. And what enables you to have this possibility is to use quantitative models. So what are the decision-making process steps in modern decision-making? So what steps are generally followed? The steps that uh, you show here, that I'm showing you here, and that you see here, are the general steps followed uh, and uh, about which the community agrees that managers nowadays follow these steps. The first step is the problem identification. The second step is alternative identification. Problem identification means uh, you try and figure out what is the problem you have to decide about. In our simple example, the problem is given you by the text. You are the owner of a racing team and your decision is about what to do in the next race. The alternatives are, once you figure out your problem, you try and find the solutions. What are the alternatives in this case? You can run or withdraw. Well, this is a simple text example. Maybe there could be a third alternative, which could be wait to receive new information. So you have to identify what are the possible alternatives. Then there is the implementation of the model. Someone has to actually build the mathematical equations that tell you what is best. Then there is the, the identification of the best alternatives, that is, you run the model and then uh, it will indicate you what is the best policy to implement. And finally, the last step is sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity analysis is important because it gives you a way to understand whether your decision-making process has been completed or not. Bocconi Virtual College enrolling the smartest high school students.